Hi, this is Fun Science and it's our first news digest. From inside Mars lander's selfies to Australian doctors eating Lego pieces for science, this week was intense. And before we start, we have an important question. Eating Lego pieces is cool and all, but would those Australian doctors be willing to make the ultimate sacrifice for science and step on them? All jokes aside, let's look at some other news you might have missed. Chinese scientists are planning to construct a research base between 6 to 11 kilometers below the South China Sea surface. Specific location is yet to be announced, but it is obvious that this base will be even harder to build than a space station. Chinese president urged scientists and engineers to do something no one's ever done before. And it's exactly what they're planning to do. The craziest part is, this base will not be run by humans, but by artificially intelligent robots. They're going to build an AI colony right here on Earth. Cables that run from the base up to a platform will provide the colony with power. Robotic submarines will conduct exploratory missions collect mineral samples and catalog life forms. This project will cost China 160 million US dollars. The budget might be tight, but this project can make China a world leader in some critical areas. Scientists will release a sun-dimming sky chemical into the stratosphere in 2019. They will send up a balloon that will release about 100 grams of calcium carbonate that will reflect sunlight and could stay in the air for years. The idea is to fight climate change by sending some of the sun's energy back into space. And this is a small-scale trial of a larger-scale geoengineering effort. The program could cost $2 billion per year. What do you think of this initiative? Is it just treating the symptoms instead of the cause or a valuable solution to buy us more time? Stem cells were always thought of as blank slates. We thought their primary function was to serve as miniature factories for other cell types. It turns out they have other behavioral roles too. New studies show that stem cells, in partnership with the immune system, store memories of past assaults to provide more effective healing in the future. If mice were injured and allowed to heal, for about six months, subsequent wounds to the same spot would heal two and a half times more quickly. On the other hand, stem cells can learn bad behaviors as well. Turns out, they transfer their memories to future generations of cells, and in the case of the allergy patients, they are perpetually signaling to the immune system that an attacker is there. We are starting to realize where immune system reactions take place and that cells can be tuned, which is very promising for future therapies. So what did you think of our digest? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.